Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question came from Chryset Yachty, and they're looking for a way to create a rotating trap. Uh, they didn't give too much detail, so I just rolled with it on my own. We have a ball and chain that swings around on a stick. Essentially, I just have three different sprites here. One, the stick itself, and then I have a chain and a spike ball. The key important things here are both my stick and my chain are not solid. Um, I want them to be kind of like in the background so your character can jump through them. It's the spike that is going to have the solid effect. And then the ball also has the orbit, which is what's going to let it spin around the stick position. And then the chain has pin, so I can pin it to the stick. How rotate works, you essentially get to set a speed and then you get to pick your radii. You just grab the same radius if you're looking to have a circle. Otherwise, you'd make an ellipse. Uh, we're just going to have it swinging around in a circle at the edge of its chain. And then you can grab the speed, and you can enable it, disable it. And then match rotation is going to spin the ball around, kind of like your normal face objects on Move 2. So if we turn that off, you'll see that the graphics get a little weird because it doesn't actually spin and orbit the point around. So we want to make sure we have match rotation on. Ball will spin around and then we will pin the chain to the center of the ball. And as it spins around, it will keep the other part of the chain facing the stick and keep it attached. I also, since I set the distance to 120 here, I just made a drawing of something that looks somewhat chain-like and I set it to I set it to 120. I shrank it down a little because I missed the edges. But you want it close to the same size as your orbit radius. That way it actually makes it back to the stick. So that's how you pick your chain length. Here's how I pinned it. So start a layout and just pinning it to true. Nothing, no special features. So you're just going to leave the X, Y angle all checked. No width, no height, no Z elevation. Just pin it to the spike ball. And then where you start is important. We're going to start here, and the game is automatically going to move our spike ball out 120. It's essentially just going to lift this up here and then start spinning it around. But then we'll have that angle facing. And then you need the spike ball to start in the center of the orbit. That about wraps it up. Hopefully that's what you wanted. Uh, let me know either in the comments or in the forum. And if you needed something else, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good one.